So, it's time for another throwback FIFA video and well, we're going way back this time around. We're going to be taking a look at FIFA 08. The nostalgia for me right now is just crazy because FIFA 08 was my first ever FIFA. I remember loading up my PS2 for the very first time and FIFA 08 was my first game on that console and I had such a great time playing career mode, playing kickoff. It was, it was literally my favorite game at that moment. Look at the menus guys, it is so much different to what we have right now. As you guys can see, the game modes, you've got manager mode. Back then, career mode was called manager mode. Something called challenge mode, tournament mode. No ultimate team back on FIFA 08. If I remember, ultimate team was introduced in FIFA 9. But man, these menus take me back. Now, for some reason, I can only control the menus with my mouse, which is a bit weird. For some reason, if I use the controller, it just skips like certain menus, which kind of doesn't make sense. But, you know, I'm going to use my mouse. It doesn't matter. In gameplay, though, I think the controller works just fine. If you guys do enjoy these throwback FIFA videos, drop a like on this one. Let me know what FIFA we should take a look next. And well, subscribe if you are new around here. Today's video is sponsored by the OneFootball app, which in my opinion is the best football news app out there. It's an app I personally use. Of course, with the way things are in the world right now, we don't have football, but one football can keep you up to date with everything going on. Transfer rumors, when are the leagues going to come back, highlights of some iconic moments, one football will have you covered. The best part about this app is that it's completely free on both iOS and Android. It's got a very clean UI, which I do really like. And well, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to download the OneFootball app. First thing we're going to do is take a look at the player ratings of some of the big clubs. I'm actually so excited for this. Let's take a look at Barcelona's player ratings. And this is the team they've got here. Oh my god. Ronaldinho in this side. Unreal, man. They've got Samuel Etzo, Thierry Henry as well. What is this team, man? Leo Messi, who was only 88 rated back then. Unreal. Xavi is 82 for Xavi. Are you kidding me, man? 82 for Xavi. If we switch his position around, he does become 84 rated. So back then, EA had this system where if you move players around, their overalls changed depending on what position they played at. Wonder why they removed that, man. It was such a nice feature to have. So Xavi's actually 85 rated. Yaya Tore, Abidal, Militao, Puyol. It's Milito, actually. It's Milito. Completely messed that one up. Going on the bench, you've got the likes of Deco, Andres, Iniesta. Imagine having Iniesta on the bench. This was the Real Madrid team back then. They've still got the likes of Sergio Ramos, Cannavaro, Pepe, Robinho. Remember this guy, man. Iron Robin, Snyder, Van Nistelrooy, Raul. Only 80 rated. I think this was his end of the career, I suppose. Marcelo was just 70 rated back then. Guti as well. Let's actually take a look at Arsenal's ratings as well. Back when they were semi-decent, they had Robin Van Persie, Gilberto Silva, Fabregas was back then in Arsenal, Peroshiski as well. They had a good defense with Colo Torre and Galas being pretty high rated. They still had some of the meme players like Flamini and Co, but yeah, not bad. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this was back when Manchester United were basically the best team in the world along with Barcelona. So I'm actually eager to see their team as well. Of course, they've got Wayne, freaking Rooney up top, Giggs, Carrick, Scholes, Cristiano Ronaldo, who was, I think, the highest rated player in the game, along with maybe Ronaldinho, which is super interesting. A right mid as well, Evra, Nemanja Vidic, Ferdinand, and what a team this was, man. Scholes as well, only 83 rated. That's a bit frustrating, but Wayne Rooney, 90 rated, man. Okay, that does not look like PK. What is that game face, man? And also, PK only 73 rated back then. AC Milan were unbelievable back in those times and let's see their team and well they were unbelievable. Nesta being 90 rated, they had Gattuso, Pirlo, Sidov, Kaká who was 88 rated. I think if you put him at striker, well no he's still an 88 rated player. Gilardino, R9 Ronaldo, oh my goodness. Only 84 but I think it was because of it. it was his end of his career I suppose. Maldini as well. Okay so the problem I've got on FIFA 8 is that my Xbox controller registers as like two controllers for some reason so every time I try and move the analog stick once it registers the input as twice which I don't know, it makes no sense, but oh well. I know, this is what you guys are here for. Time for some career mode action on FIFA 8. Here we go. Welcome to manager mode. Look after any league club in the game. Well, that's obvious. Add your created clubs to any league. Well, EA, why isn't something like that on FIFA 20? Test the early form of your team. All right, preseason friendlies, youth players and all that sort of stuff. Manage from the touchline in the visual sim. 
That's something that's interesting, we'll see what that is about. It's obviously been a long time since I've booted this game up, so of course I don't remember some of the features, but what I do remember is this manager face. Like, I clearly remember how this guy looks and well, we're gonna take him obviously. Let's take an English club for this one, and a lot of people have been wanting to see a Chelsea career mode on the channel, so... You know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's do it with Chelsea. Okay, this is a bit of an aggressive article from The Sun. EA had The Sun in their game. Is this a joke? What is Chelsea FC thinking? Wow. The format of mails that you get are pretty much the same as it's now, of course. Graphically, now it's much better, but look at this. Win the Premier League, win the FA Cup, upgrade your stadium manager. Wow, so there is a lot of in-depth stuff back on FIFA 08. And also, I think there is stuff like sponsors and also Let's just get stuck in. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Back then, EA actually put effort in career mode. You had stuff like sponsorship offers and all, which gave you like loyalty bonus, league bonus, funding per game. It was so sick. Why don't we have this kind of stuff now? It's, it's honestly a bit frustrating. We're going with Direct West there. Just seems perfect. They're offering me a lot of money, but we do need to complete some objectives. Otherwise, they will probably not renew with us. I think that's how it works. We've got to, you know, win the league, have the least goals conceded. We get a 1.8 million bonus. Man, this is so sick. And we are signing with Direct West Air. Play friendly matches. You know what? I would like to do that. I want to do a friendly with Barcelona to see Ronaldinho and co in action. So, let us get that underway. Where's Ronaldinho? I think he's going to be in the Spanish Primera. Let's do Barcelona. Hopefully, they'll accept a friendly with us. And, well, they have. So, we're going to be doing a friendly with Barca. This should be fun. Let's just move on. One friendly is enough. This is how the career mode menus looked like back then. Pretty good, I suppose. Let's take a look at the squad we've got. Perecek, Belletti, John Terry, Carvalho, Ashley Cole, Wright Phillips, John Obi Mikel, Essien, Lampard, of course, and the main man, Drogba. I think I'm going to keep the formation as is. We've got Balak as well, Joe Cole... I mean, this team is pretty good. Alex as a substitute, that is that, sh that should be legal. Let's still try and make a few signings and all to, you know, just make this team even better. Let's just go big with our transfers. Why not try and bring Ronaldinho to Chelsea? Is that even possible? Let's see if it is or not. So, he's valued at 41 million. Now, we don't really know much how negotiations work over on, of course, FIFA 8 because I don't really remember. Let's just offer about 50 mil. I think that's a fair amount at that time for, of course, Ronaldinho. Let's increase his salary a bit to 140. We'll give him a three-year deal. That works. And let's just give him a 5% goal bonus. Let's submit bid and let's just see what happens. We need a right back, I suppose. And Dani Alves seems like the perfect fit. He plays at Sevilla currently and we might just be able to bring him in. I'm offering, maybe let's, let's bump it up to 16 mil. This is what I'm offering. Let's see what happens. I guess we've got to wait for a while until we get back on those offers. For now, we've got to play a game against Barcelona. I'm excited for this one. Let's get into it. How is this sort of stuff not on FIFA 20? You can actually adjust ticket prices for your team. Like, we'll keep it on medium for now, but this is crazy. So, I guess this is how we're going to set up our team. We've got Perecek, John Terry, Carvalho, Lampard, Balak, Didier, Drogba up top. Look at Barca's team. They've got Ronaldinho. No Messi though, which is interesting. Deco starts, Eto and Thierry Andri. Let's get into it. I don't know what I'm going to do in gameplay because I actually have to play with my keyboard because my controller doesn't work. I don't know what to expect from this. Here we go, boys. This is, this is exciting stuff. We're getting into a game now for the very first time on FIFA 8. Oh, look at the graphics here. It's, it's not good, but for that time, man, these graphics were insane. So let's just get into it. I don't know what button is what. I think this is the pass button. All right, I figured out what the pass button is. And I'm moving the ball around well, but I don't know what the shoot button is, guys. And I think that's going to cause problems. There's a reason why I'm playing this on semi-pro. Good ball played in. Oh, Thierry Henry is going to score that. And well, 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 we're a goal down. I don't know what the controls are right now. And I'm really struggling. Look at the crowd, man. The, the crowd looks so bad. But Thierry Henry looks all right, I guess. And he's pointing at his name. And well, we've conceded already. This is going to be a tough game. Oh, look at this, boys. I think I figured out some of the controls as I'm able to do some step overs. But they look pretty bad. I can move the ball around pretty well, I suppose. Here is Frank Lampard opening up some space. Go on, Lampard. Ah, uh, Puyol is too strong. I don't know how to sprint, man, and that, that's a big problem. The thing is, boys, I don't know how to sprint right here, and 
That, that, that's really causing me problems. Like, if I can't sprint... Okay, I figured out how to sprint, boys. I figured out how to sprint. Look at this now. Now, now the game changes. Um, I still don't know how to shoot. TDA Drogba. I know how to sprint now, guys. I know how to sprint. Let's figure this out. Lovely passing. Inside. I gotta know how to shoot. Let's go. Oh my god, how have I missed that? The play was superb. No, I finally figured out how to attack and my player just missed the golden chance. The problem is I can't defend to save my life here. Eto has just completely opened me up and destroyed me there. Samuel Eto. Wow, fair play. I, I can't even complain. That was, <laughs> that was unreal. I'm getting my ass handed to me in this one against AI that's on semi-pro difficulty. Wow. Oh no, I've called out my keeper. What have I just done? What have I just done? Thierry Henry goes for the audacious chip. Thank God that didn't go in. Oh, here we go. A bit of tiki-taka. A bit of tiki-taka against the team. That plays tiki-taka. Let's, let's keep moving the ball around. That's what's up. That is... Oh, come on. I was just getting confident then. Then they just they take all the hope away from me. Although, Trumpo wins that back. Oh, brilliant pass. Maybe a goal from Lampard here. Maybe a shot from Lampard. Oh, no. I'm so bad. Watch me. Watch my comical defending now, guys. I've literally let on three through. Now it's Ronaldinho. Oh, he tries the flip-flap and I just get the ball away as soon as possible. It's now mission avoid conceding in this half. Oh, no. Ronaldinho has just destroyed me there. Thank God we got the header away. Yo, the AI in this game are actually good, even on this horrible difficulty. Or maybe I'm just, just, I'm just trash. I think that's, that's more likely. Oh, I just go for goal. Oh, my God. I almost scored there. Imagine the scenes if that would have gone in. Oh no, oh my god, I just completely took Samuelito out. And it's a free kick for Ronaldinho. Let's see what this is all about. Ronaldinho taking a free kick here. Goes for goal and ooh, almost scores that. And well, the game has come to an end and I'm glad it has. FIFA 8 hasn't aged well. The gameplay is pretty tragic, especially if you're playing it now in 2020. Back then probably it was insane, but... Uh, I didn't enjoy playing this, especially with the keyboard. It makes things even harder. Anyways... It's just the friendly boys in Barcelona have come out on top, but it's, it's the nostalgia is crazy, man, playing these games. Look at this, guys. After every game, players get experience through which they grow in their overall, and you can actually see all the growth. Like, look at this. Drogba gets a plus 7 on XP. Lampard gets a plus 7. Man, these are such cool features, which we really should have on FIFA 20. A bit of good news, as we've successfully signed Dani Alves, which is really nice, but we failed to sign... Ronaldinho. Now, let's find out why that happened. First things first, let's put our boy Dani Alves in the first team. Where's he gone? There he is. Dani Alves now is in the first team. Also, why is Balak on the bench? Let's put him in for John Obi Mikel, maybe. And we'll do that. Perfect. And let's also put in Joe Cole for Sean Wright Phillips. I think that's the play. There you go. Oh, no, I put in the wrong player. Where, where's he gone? Where's Joe Cole? There he is. Let's put him in for John Obi Mikel there. Perfect. Um, what what happened? It, it seems like they're not happy with it. What do they want? Like, how do we find out what they actually want? So we were close. Like this meter, I guess, tells us how close we were. So let's up uh the transfer offer. I think that would work. Let's bump it up to 60. We've bumped up everything from, of course, the transfer fee to player salary. This should work now. Look at this, guys. This this is what I've been wanting to see on FIFA for like ages because it's so much like football manager it would be so amazing to have this so so far in this game we see Evra getting sent off and we've got a 1-0 lead who scored for us Maluda so things are going well for us because Evra got sent off early on but Gary Neville has now scored or what no I think it was offside what's happening now in this game only 22 minutes in, so looks like this is going to take some time. And there you go, boys. We've managed to win 3-0 with Maluda, Joe Cole and Balak scoring and bringing the goods to us. And well, it's a 3-0 win against United in this visual sim. I'll take that, man. We've won the FA Community Shield. Um, okay, we've still failed to sign Ronaldinho. Wow, that is a bit frustrating. I think we need to offer more money for him. I think we need to offer Ronaldinho like way more wages. So let's let's do that. Let's still up the transfer fee to maybe 67. Let's do that. And let's up his salary as much as possible. Let, let's go for 180. Let, let's just go all in. 10% goal bonus as well. Now you've got to accept this. Come on, Dino. We want you. Let's see how the quick sim feature works. And well, it's a 2-0 win for Spurs. I think this was back when away games were just difficult to win. 
And well, that's a defeat. First Premier League game. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's see if we can get Dino though. Now it's the moment of truth. Can we get Ronaldinho? And there you go, boys. Ronaldinho to Chelsea is a done deal. What a signing this is. What a team we've built, man. Here, Ronaldinho on the left side. We've got Lampard, Essi and Balak in midfield. Drogba in the team as well. I think we'll try now and simulate until the end of the season and see how things work. Okay, this, this is a bit sad. There is no way to simulate a season over on FIFA 8, which is frustrating. Anyways, we've drawn 1-1 here against Liverpool in this one. Why can't you simulate games, man? That is frustrating to have. Wait, wait a minute. You actually have press conferences back on FIFA 8. This is sick. Let's see this. Chairman email, public opinion. Fans who pay the bills in the business, change how you approach public opinion or we'll have to step in. Oh, wow. I I'm, I'm just going to say, yes, sir. Let's obey. Interesting. Well done. The board is happy now with me. I'm confused. Top five transfers. Ronaldinho involved. Chelsea's uh, Dani Alves acquisition. Gonzalo Higuain uh, from Real Madrid to RC Santander. That's an interesting one. And well done. Some of our players are in the team of the month like Lampard. That is sick. This is the team of the month right now. Emil Heskey, guys. Emil Heskey is in there as well. Yo, that's sick. Job security plus four. Interesting. There's so much depth to FIFA 8 career mode. It's crazy. Like, look at this. We've got to decide whether we should allow autograph sessions for our fans and all. Um, let's, let's actually do this, man. Why not? And the fans are happy for it. So it's pretty cool to have all this. I think with that, we've now basically seen whatever FIFA 8 career mode has to offer. Unfortunately, I don't think we can, like, simulate through an entire season and all. But... It's pretty cool to see what's happening, man, on FIFA 8. I mean, I wish some of these features were there back on uh, FIFA 20, but they aren't, uh, unfortunately. But it's it's been fun going back on this game. The nostalgia has been absolutely ridiculous, and it's been a fun experience checking out probably my most loved FIFA because it was my first ever FIFA. But with that, let's wrap this up. So, boys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was it was a really nostalgic one, a throwback FIFA 8 video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it by dropping a nice comment. Let me know what FIFA should we check out next. Subscribe if you're new around here. Drop a like in the video and, well, I'll catch you guys next time.